Good morning, everybody. It is Monday. So we've got a mail day for you today. This is a heavy box that we got and in the mail. And we're gonna open up today, do a little discussion on some, some magic cards in the box. Uh, it's kind of a heavy box. But hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope this box starts your week off on a good start. Inside this box here, we have three draft booster boxes of one of the newer sets that just came out. Dominaria Remastered. I think that logo kind of looks like Star Wars to me, but we'll pull these out real quick. Talk about them for a second, and then I got something else to show you today too, related to Dominaria Remastered. But so this is three boxes. These are on sale. Rudy's Patron, Patreon. Ran a sale these a couple weeks ago, and they finally showed up. They were $169 a box. They're factory sealed by Wizards. They're in pretty good shape too. So <clears throat> typically if I would have gotten any boxes that were severely damaged or dented, I'd probably open those up and then just sell in 12 pack bundles. So a third, a third, a third to help reduce some of my inventory and overhead on some of this product. But these are all in magnificent condition. So, so these Dominaria remastered draft booster boxes, I'm gonna keep these sealed. I think these are in great shape. Um, they were 169 a, a box, as I mentioned. Current TCG pricing, as of the filming of this video, they're currently sitting at 171, uh, 171.75 is the current <clears throat> Dominaria remastered purchase uh, market price for these boxes. So we're gonna hang on to these. This one probably has the worst condition of the two, but these two are in perfect shape. Um, this is what they look like. They each contain 36 packs. Uh, they remind me of Time Spiral remastered. When they came out, at like pre-release, they were around 250 a box, and then they came down pretty hard to like 170, and that's kind of where they're settling today. So we're, um, <clears throat> we're gonna keep these sealed, uh, let others open their packs and boxes and draft these. Um, the primary goal might be to like draft these later down the road with some um, with some friends, and so in order to do that, you need like a box or half a box or so. Uh, but they all, like I said, they contain 36 packs. Each pack has 15 cards and a token in it. They have um, a retro land. Um, there's also a traditional foil, and then they have the shooting star retro foils, which are pretty cool. So uh, the second part of this video is what's, what's in the Dominar Remastered set. They did reprint some really awesome cards. Uh, that I'm a fan of and I'm excited to buy and so I grabbed a few of the cards that uh, there Were reprinted in this set and I'll show you those today too as well So these are some of the cards that were reprinted in the Dominaria remastered set That just came out I'll put those right there. Um, I had just purchased these maybe in probably May June of 2022 I I'd seen a few of these cards and remembered that they were pretty good and useful in uh, in kind of like pre-modern decks. And so I went around and I picked up a playset of each of these cards, thinking that like, oh, maybe someday if I play pre-modern, I'll build a deck out of these um, tutor cards. And then turns out they reprinted them all in this Dominaria remastered set, which was kind of interesting. So... The prices are 
similarly priced. Um, you can get these. These are all the, the vintage cards from Mirage. This is a worldly tutor. For one green, you search your library for a creature card and reveal that card to all players. Then you shuffle your library. Put the revealed card back on the top of your library. So you have to be able to draw that card off the top of your library before your opponent can um, mill some cards from your library or make you reshuffle. Then that would kind of waste the tutor. But I bought four copies of Worldly Tutor. These were probably $20 at the time when I bought them. Um, they've gone down a little bit. They're about $15. Uh, in today's market. Uh, they're also in the Dominaria Remastered Draft set and collector booster boxes. You can get all of these tutors. Uh, you can get it in also like five or six <clears throat> different finishes. You can get them in the retro frame that look like this. You can get them in the modern frame. You can also get them in a borderless art with extended art that goes throughout the whole frame um, and you can get those both in foil and non-foil so there's several versions of these cards um, i still think that's probably a little bit too many like i don't need to have six different copies of worldly tutor um, so so i find that if i were to open these boxes searching for some of these tutor cards in per like particularly i i like the retro frame even though they're not as expensive as the borderless cards so if i pulled a borderless card i'd probably want to trade that for a retro frame card. Um, the next tutor is Mystical Tutor. This is also from Mirage. Uh, this is for one blue. It lets you search your library for an instant, interrupt mana source or sorcery card and reveal that to all players. Shuffle your library and put that revealed card back on top of your library. So that will let's put Mystical Tutor right there. Perfect. So that's Mystical Tutor. This is probably one of my favorite cards in, in, the, in blue decks to play as well. Um, so that was also included in Dominaria Remastered. And then Enlightened Tutor by Dan Frazier. This was the, um, the, this was the card that I did not have a lot of copies of previously. And then when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I probably need a play set of this card. Um, you, you can see this little tutor has a a headband on it has all the colors of the moxes that Dan Frazier originally drew. Um, so I always thought like, you know, this card was special. The art was special because of the artist connected to it and the 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 um, connection to the moxes from the original set of Magic. So this is a white tutor. It's an instant for one white. You search your library for an artifact or enchantment card. Reveal that card to all players, shuffle your library, and put it back on top of it. So if you're playing a format that allowed Enlightened Tutor and any of the original moxes, you could search your card for a mox, put it on the top of your deck, and go to town. So I picked up four of those. The, uh, the Mystical Tutors, I should say, too, were also about $15 at the time, and Enlightened Tutor was about $30. So I picked up four copies of those, each of those. Um, and comparably, in today's prices, after the Dominaria Remastered set was released and those prices came out, um, there's a slight difference in price between the borderless and retro frame on these tutor cards. Um, but they're within the range, they're within like $10 to $15 of the original printings. So price isn't such a big discrepancy if you're interested in the tutor cards. I would say. You know, I would probably go for the vintage cards because there's probably fewer of them printed, but that's just me as a collector. Um, they also have reimagined art on them, so if you're looking for the original art, you'd have to get the the original printings. But if you're a fan of the the reimagined art, then you can get you know two or three different artists' versions in the new set. Um, the last two cards that I have to show you today that were reprinted in Dominaria Remastered was the Vampiric Tutor. I think that's the fourth tutor in the set that they reprinted. This was from Visions in 1996. This art was by Gary Leach. It's a black instant, and you pay two life. Search your library for any one card, shuffle your library, then put that card on the top of your library. So this card was really good in Vintage and Legacy for a long time. Put that down here. 
You can also get that in Dominaria Remastered. Go check that out. And then the last card that I have that was reprinted is probably the best card in the Dominaria Remastered set. And that's gonna be the uh, Force of Will. Let's see if we can do a little thumbnail for the video. So Force of Will was also reprinted in some other sets recently. But this this is gonna be the big the big hit of any Dominar remastered box or pack that you might open. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna be hunting for Force of Will. This playset here is from Alliances. They're all very pack fresh. I think I opened a bunch of Alliances packs a couple years ago and pulled these out and saved these and then had them signed by Therese in blue paint pen. This is a, an interrupt from Alliances, as I said, for three colorless and two blue and you pay one life. You remove a blue card from your hand from the game and instead of paying the five mana to cast this and then you counter that target spell. Um, so Force of Will, one of our favorite cards. That you can also get reprinted in Dominar Remastered. Um, there's also like Sylvan Library, Birds of Paradise. Um, so I think Birds of Paradise with the Shooting Star Foil is gonna be pretty popular. That is also in the set. We've got Birds of Paradise playing in the background. So if you do get Dominar Remastered packs or boxes, um, I hope you have fun opening those and playing those and drafting that set. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. I think it'll be a lot of nostalgia for even newer, uh, you know, older players that are playing, getting into it recently. Um, and so we'll check back too. We're gonna keep an eye on the box prices and we'll let you know if the Dominaria Remastered box prices go up or down um, once all these awesome cards are open. So have a great week, everybody. Thanks for the watch. Um, these are Dominaria Remastered cards and some of the original re original printings that you can get in this set. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned a, a thing or two. Have a great week.